Welcome everybody, this is my short tutorial on how to download um, Bit BitTorrent using BitComet today. We're going to use BitComet. And the first thing you're going to do is obviously go to Google and get BitComet. First thing you need to do. Just download that, that. You just type in big comment into Google and it will come up. It will be the first thing. We can just hit download. It should take us to the download page. Obviously, you have to download the version that um, corresponds to your version of Windows. Um, and if you're not sure what version you've got, it's an easy way to find out. You can just um, right click on your. You can just go to computer, right click on that, hit properties, and it will tell you right here. So we've got system type, 64-bit operating system. So obviously I would need the 64-bit. So, so that's how you find out what version to get. Obviously, um, we can't do a torrent download because we don't have a torrent client yet because this is the torrent client itself. So we do a HTTP download. So you would click on that. Allow ones. I've got pop-ups blocked, but <clears throat> so now I'm going to do it again. But yeah, so we'll download it. it. Doesn't really matter. Do you want to run or save? You could just save it. Just hit save, and it will start saving it. Always allow. Just always allow. There we go. So that's that's downloading now. So you can just hit view downloads. Obviously, you know where your downloads are. It's going to downloads anyway, Derek. So there we go, it's running security scan, even though I've already got this one there, then you would normally hit run, install it, and then once it's installed, you can run it, and it will look something like this, let's run her up, fire her up, alright, so this is your basic, this is what BitComet looks like, the tasks will be in this section here, these are just a list of um, top sites you can go to to download torrents. You can actually sign up for a BitComet account as well. Um, you just need an email. It's pretty basic. And it does let you download a little bit faster. You get ranked. So the more you share back to the, to the torrent community, the more your ranking goes up. And the general consensus for sharing is run about 1.5 ratio, which means you download something, say it's 500. 500 megabytes the assumption is or the the based on your internet as well how much usage you get but one and a half times that you should share back so if you download something for 500 megabytes you're sort of expected to share it back for 1.5 gig you know what i mean so it's, it becomes a ratio of one and a half i'll show you the share ratio in a sec once we start downloading something so let's just shrink that then so we can see let's see the share ratio on this side here there we go so we can see everything good so let's download something let's let's pick something so uh, pirate bay is probably the best site you can find for stuff i would say that personally everyone's entitled to their opinion but that's mine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open that in a new window <clears throat> it's going to take me excuse me it's going to take me to the pirate bay hopefully i've actually got my favorite so i probably should have been quicker just hitting on my favorites and opening it up but for some reason my internet's been a bit, a bit yeah a bit slow today traffic mm. i'm having trouble with internet as well so i'm i'm um, constantly on the phone to the isps isp see i'm getting this all the time sorry about this guys so let's just close that off let's just reopen in the next border i don't know why it keeps doing this it's starting to really get my nerves there we go, so Google open fine now. So there we'll go, we'll just go favorite wise. So we'll go to Pirate Bay. And then we've got the Pirate Bay coming up. Let's just, I've got my zoom on. Why did I do that? Because I had it plugged into the TV. So there we go. So generally how I search, you can search straight out if you know the name of what you're looking for. Or I like to go browse torrents. And it'll give you everything they've got on a Pirate Bay in little, little sections here. So... Let's go to, let's just download something 
pretty standard. We can go to movies. Movies is always popular. And this will be... As soon as you hit movies, it will take you to the page where it will give you a list in order of uploaded. So these are the most recently uploaded movies. See, this one was uploaded 38 minutes ago. And you've got the SE and the LE next to it, which means seeds and leeches. Now, what these mean is seeds are people who have the full copy of this download. They've downloaded it and they are sharing it as we speak. Leeches are people who are sort of semi, are in the middle of downloading it at the moment or have downloaded it and are not sharing it. So you want to get one with high seeds. So you can see this one's been up frozen web rip being up since yesterday. It's 698 megabytes. And it's got 90 seeds, so 90 people have that, and 87 are currently trying to download it and or have downloaded it but aren't sharing it. So that's a kind of, leeches is a weird one, like, but I always look for the high seeds. So let's just, and if I was to click this right now, which I will, it will give me movies, it will arrange them in order of seeds, so most popular or most shared so, as you can see, The Wolf of Wall Street is obviously a pretty popular movie. And then we've got so many other ones. But I always recommend to read comments and look for, obviously, that says DVD screener. Screener. HD rip is usually something from iTunes, potentially. Someone's watched it on iTunes and then recorded it as they're watching it. So it's like a rip. Cam, sort of avoid them. There are people in a cinema with a camera. I don't like them. They're, they're very low quality, especially if you're watching on a decent screen, a decent HD TV. The cam copies aren't very good and tend to be pretty bad sound wise as well. So I pretty much avoid them. But the key to downloading is to read comments. So let's just click on this book thief. I'm going to try that one, the book thief. All right. We'll click on that. Just an example. It's 700 megabytes. 712 so yeah it looks great looks like a great movie mm. so let's look at some of the comments here so uh, there's a lot of bitchiness on the comments in pirate bay I tend to just skip past that okay here we go thanks sam audio 10 video 10 yeah let's not go into the details of the rest of that message but yeah so that's one review it's just more or less, oh, here's another one. I just look for the V's and the A's. Video A, audio A, and his opinion on the movie, which, yeah, obviously didn't like it. And V, A, V. So this is actually looking like it could be a decent copy of this movie. So we should um, give it a go. Comments are positive. So the first thing you need to do is get this torrent. So you hit on the magnet here, get this torrent, there's another one here at the bottom here. You can click on either one. And what it will do is, even if BitComet's closed, we have it open at the moment. But even if it's closed, it will automatically open BitComet by itself. So let's click on it. It will ask you obviously to, it wants to access. So we'll allow that and it will open up this and give it a couple of seconds and always be careful I had a bad, I've got a bad habit, I've done it a few times where I've downloaded something and I've accidentally rolled my mouse up here somewhere and it's just moved the file path and all of a sudden I've, I've lost what I've downloaded, I can't remember where it is but we'll show, I can show you where it is anyway, there's a way Bitcomet can find it for you anyway, but so I'm downloading mine to the, the downloads folder which is the default, Bitcomet sets up a folder for you when it, when it um, first um, installs. So we can get rid of all this crap here. Don't need the sample. We just need the, the movie itself. So the big file, 698 megabytes. So all we'll do is we'll hit download now. Okay, that will start downloading. Give it a few secs. It will start to like search for Cedars. And it will start to connect. We've got peers. or it peers of people who are trying to get it as well. And even if you don't have the whole movie, you're still up, you're still sharing. So the download's starting to crank up. Let's just shift this stuff down so we can see more. We'll just stretch some of this stuff a bit. There we go. 
So we've got the upload. See, and we can go into properties for a sec. Oh, not properties, sorry, options. And we have to um, limit. Well, this this message here is pretty important. Your beat, your BitTorrent download speed is proportional to your upload speed. XDSL users, please limit your upload under your line capacity. Otherwise, your download speed will be affected. That's very true. So, but I always have alternate max upload rate when not down, downloading unlimited. So then, when so as far as long as this is downloading, the highest I will upload at is thirty kilobytes a second. Because if I was to put that higher, it affects my download speed. Run about 30, 32 is max as I'll go while I'm downloading. But as soon as that download's done, BitComet will automatically raise your upload to unlimited. So be just be wary of that. You can uncheck it. And you don't want to let go over your limit. Obviously, some people have limits to how much they can download a month. You don't want to like use it all in a day. You would be really, really disappointed because your internet gets slowed down. Some, some internet service providers charge you per megabyte, all that crap. You don't want to get caught out. So we'll just leave that as is. So that will upload at the max of 30, but it's only just hovering at 15. So the download start to go now. That shouldn't be done too long. 27 minutes it's going to take. So that's pretty much it. Once that's done, you can actually just right click on it. And to find out where it is, if you can't remember where you put it, you can actually find it by just going to open directory and it will take you into my, it will take you into where it is, which is right here. And that's the torrent itself. It's unfinished, as it says. Become an unfinished download because it hasn't finished yet. But when it's finished, it will appear here too. So it's pretty standard and pretty easy. That's how you download torrents on Bitcoin. Um, any questions or anyone needing any help? Just leave a comment or, yeah, and I'll try and answer it. Okay, that's pretty much the, um, the end of this torrent, uh, the end of this uh, tutorial, sorry, on how to download them torrents using BitComet. Pretty standard stuff. Once you get the hang of it, it will be second nature. You will struggle to start with finding where all the things are, but give it a few, few times, it becomes like a... A habit thing where you just you know what to do and yeah there's nothing but uh, pirate base pretty pretty good um, yeah thank you